What's going on today guys? It's Joe the Pro here back at it again with another video. This is another addition to our instructional series. Today we are going to be cleaning the trip lever and the clutch assembly on the AMF 8230 distributor. So some tools you'll need for the job are a crescent wrench. So when we take the reverse threaded nut off of here, we'll be able to hold that rod somehow. And also you're going to want a rag and usually I use carb cleaner when it comes to cleaning the clutches, but I'm all out. So today we are going to just be using some degreaser. That should work well also. As we're taking this apart here, what is our first step every time? It's always to clean the parts that we're taking off. So we're going to start disassembling this. And once I get all the parts off, then we're going to wipe them all down. Start by taking off your spring shouldn't be too tight you can slide it out you can see that part of the spring sits in that groove there just pull it out the side that it went in so set that to the side and now you'll see that these discs are nice and loose here but in order to remove those discs you'll need to remove this nut so in order to remove the nut this is also a reverse threaded nut so the saying that everybody uses, righty tighty lefty loosey, it's actually the opposite for this nut. So we're actually going to spin it to the right to loosen it. And that's just made so that when your belt's going, it doesn't loosen the nut over time. So anyway, we're gonna get the crescent wrench onto there, adjust it to where we need. So this nut is a size 9 16th. So once again, you're going to want to spin it to the right clockwise to remove it. So make sure that's adjusted right there. And then it shouldn't take too much, but as you can see, mine loosened up fairly easy. So I'm gonna remove the nut, the washer, and then you'll be able to take your discs off. So you're gonna wanna take this outer disc off here, set that to the side. Next will be this, uh, I think this is brass. Yeah, it's brass. Your friction disc and your other plate. Then you can also remove your gear here as well. And then inside there, there should be a little washer and a spacer. I'm gonna keep it simple here. So just, if there's any dust or anything, on here, just wipe it off real quick. You don't have to use any degreaser for this part unless it's really dirty. So just wipe out the surrounding areas here. Now, this is where the degreaser comes in mind. So just put a few sprays on there. Just be cautious that you don't get over spray into your bearings. So then you'll have to re-oil them all. But go ahead and just give these discs a nice wipe, clean them out. So, depending on how often you clean your clutch discs will determine how well your distributor indexes. So I've seen some distributors where people let the clutches get very dirty and they don't service them for a while or the clutch disc gets very worn out and then they have indexing issues. So this is just kind of to prevent that. So now I'm gonna clean my clutch friction disc so just clean that like so you should expect to see some just dust just from it running over time all right And then our spring, when it comes to cleaning the spring, you don't have to go too crazy. Just kind of give it a little dusting. Brass piece here. Then, our spacer. Sure. 
and then your gear. You don't gotta go crazy here, just give it a nice wipe on the outside. And while you have this gear off, you might as well just check that bearing, make sure it's good, and this one is. All right guys, so now that we have all our parts cleaned here, I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembling it. Before I start reassembling, I just wanna give you guys some things to look for, just to look for certain types of wear in your clutch discs. So what you're going to want to do before you reassemble your clutch assembly, you're going to want to take both your outer discs that ride against the friction disc, take the friction disc out from in between them, and then just put these two together. And then kind of rotate them in your hands. And if you see like any large gaps, you're going to want to figure out which disc that is and change it because that will affect how well your distributor indexes and how well the clutch works. So these ones look pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those alone. You're also going to wanna check how much wear you have on your friction disc. And this one looks pretty good still, so we're gonna leave that alone as well. So this clutch, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembling. So, you know, put your spacer on here first. You're going to put your little washer there, your gear, and your gear goes on the teeth facing the flipper. There we go. Next comes your outer disc. You're going to put the one with the two notches in there on first. Put that on. Your friction disc. Now you're gonna put your brass piece on. So this brass piece, the lip goes on the inside. And this one will also, it, you can see that it's kind of a rectangular shape inside there and it matches the rod here. So you're gonna wanna line it up like that. Put that in there. And now you're gonna wanna put your outer disc on. So spin that like that. Now, before you put your spring on, you're going to put your washer on and then your nut. So remember this is reverse thread, so don't get mad at yourself for it not going on there. Sometimes it can be a pain to get them started if they're beat up. This one went on pretty easily. Just go ahead and get started on there like that. Put your wrench on there. So you're gonna turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. Make sure you get your crescent wrench on there first. There you go. So now once you fasten that nut, now you can install your clutch spring. So you're going to find where the two holes are in the clutch disc. And you'll see this part of the spring comes out here. You're going to get it started in that hole. Sometimes they can be a pain if the spring's new. So now, once you get it started in there, you just gotta find that other end and poke it out this side. As you can see, there we go. All right, so once you do that, a good place to start is about a quarter, between a quarter and a half a turn for the clutch tension. So, if I'm starting it like that, I'm gonna go just a little bit under a half a turn to start. Once you get it in the machine, you're probably going to have to adjust it once you get it in there. But that's a good starting point. And once you reinstall your spring, your distributor clutch is fully ready to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I explained everything fairly well. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment down below or shoot us an email at joethepro181 at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please go check out the rest of the videos in this course. Drop a like and hit subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.